Well, I'm growing out my facial hair because of theater, playing the part of Gomez Adams in the Adams Family, and he needs a mustache. Now, I thought, high school, right? It might look silly with just a mustache, so I'm just growing it all out, and I'll have just the mustache for performance week. But for now, it's the mustache and beard combo. Well, there are obviously a lot of positives. Um, one, you're not baby-faced. You no longer look like a prepubescent boy. Also, I'm not trying to say that someone without facial hair looks like a prepubescent boy, but it definitely does scruff up the face. Um, anyways, so it also kind of, you know, attracts attention. People say, Lucas, I didn't know you could grow a beard. And I say, well, now you know. Well, there are definitely negatives. It, uh, it definitely takes a lot of care and tender love. Uh, you have to trim it to make sure it doesn't get gross. If, if it's too long, it might be a little bit tuggy, you know? I'm not, I'm not a fan of getting tuggy face, you know what I'm saying? Um, some of the other negatives are just people get distracted by it. I'll be sitting in a conversation and they might not even be listening to me because they're just focused on the, the facial hair. You know what I'm saying? It's actually a problem, but um, if I'm to be real honest, I think the positives outweigh the negatives for sure. Well, first of all, I think you should obviously just send it because facial hair is definitely not something of the past. It is today. It is the world. Um, I would say my biggest tip, it is not the quality or space of hair that you have. Whether it's patchy or full, it is how you groom it. That is the proper way to grow a beard and mustache. Really, you just have to love it and love yourself in it rather than just love the look of it. You see, it's really not just a look thing, it's more of a spiritual thing. I love my mustache. I pet it good night every night. I say, good night, Lucas. Good night, Lucas's mustache. That's what I say. And people might judge, but that is how you get a proper mustache, is you have to love it with tender love and care. Now, I would recommend keeping a comb on you at all times so that if you feel any hairs out of line, you can just put it right back into place. Sometimes you get an itchy lip. Well, guess what? That's because the hairs are tangled up there. You just got to right back into place. Really, if anyone wants to more tips, more advice on my facial hair or how to grow facial hair, I would recommend it, uh, buying my book. I wrote a book. It's called Facial Hair and You, and it will guide you through the process. I know it's a weight-bearing process, but you can do it.